Hey everyone, so Blizzard officially confirmed Classic WoW Fresh. We don't know when that will be as of this time or how they will do it, but we know it will happen eventually. And also, a couple weeks ago, WoWhead posted this news article, mentioning their news posts that were the most viewed throughout Classic WoW's lifespan. These, with not much surprise, coincide with the most hyped moments of the game. So this inspired me to make this video. Classic, throughout its one and a half years of existence, has had its fair share of incredibly fun and memorable moments. This game was thought to be a turning point in World of Warcraft's history, and it overexceeded everyone's expectations, including Blizzard themselves. So today, in this video, we're gonna take a moment to remember, in chronological order, the 10 most hype moments that Classic WoW had throughout its lifespan. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start off from the beginning. When most people think about when it all started for Classic WoW, most of you think about the launch, right? Well, actually, Classic WoW's hype started way before that. A couple years before that, actually. I think we all remember this memorable moment. Your favorite flavor is vanilla. This is BlizzCon 2017, and the menu you see on stage, which recently left Blizzard, started it all with this announcement. This event sent a shockwave throughout all of the community and all Blizzard fans around the world, old or new. The implications of Blizzard finally reintroducing WoW the way it was 14 years ago at that point were insane. Millions of people left WoW because they didn't like the direction the game was heading, but this meant many of them would have the chance to jump back into their old favorite game. And that's exactly what this announcement meant for all of us. But then... nothing. For a whole year, Blizzard stood silent on Classic WoW, with the exception of some snippets of life here and there, but then BlizzCon 2018 happened. BlizzCon 2018 was every Classic WoW's fan wet dream. It had just an insane amount of news about the game. Developers were talking about the process of recreating the game, the first screenshots, the first news, we even got a demo to try at home for buying a virtual ticket. But more importantly, we had our first official date, summer 2019. People were hyped. So that all happened at BlizzCon 2018 in November. But for the next few months, unlike in the last BlizzCon, Blizzard was very active on the forums this time around with blue post after blue post, addressing the community concerns, talking about their plans, and then, most importantly, on May 14th, 2019, Blizzard announced the first official launch date of Classic WoW, August 27th, and the beta going live the following day. Classic WoW's beta probably contributed the most to building up the game's hype more than any other beta for WoW before it. We had players and streamers all around the world being put on this one beta server and stuck at level 40. This created what's known as the level 40 meta, where you'd get your character to max level 40 and min-max it to the teeth to be the strongest you could ever be. And this also led to the famous PvP tournaments that took place on the beta. Those were probably the best events that any developer could have ever dreamed of to promote their game, and it all happened on the Classic WoW beta. But the beta was just half the story, because along with the beta, Blizzard also announced what's called stress tests. Those were basically beta servers, but the rules were simple. You were stuck at level 5, and your goal is to make the servers crash by all means necessary. Blizzard opened the floodgate, and anyone who wanted to could log in and participate in the stress tests. The servers were holding out so well that Blizzard started spawning Ragnaros, Patchwork, and Cthulhu, and much more all over the place. We even got to summon a developer. But then the stress test ended. The beta ended and it was time for the actual serious business. The moment everyone was waiting for. August 27th. Everyone is sitting at their desk, stocked up on Cheetos and Dr. Pepper, waiting for the grey button to turn red. It does, and simultaneously around the world, millions and millions of people log in to experience World of Warcraft as it was 15 years ago for the first time. 
This launch was just the highlight of Classic WoW. 1.1 million concurrent viewers on Twitch, millions and millions of players subscribing to the game, Blizzard stock skyrocketing, Classic WoW basically became mainstream for the next couple days. Everyone around the world was talking about this MMO that's taking the world by storm. Classic World of Warcraft was the peak of WoW's popularity since years ago and for many years to come. But for the players, this is where the game begins. For the next few weeks, everyone only has one goal in mind. To get to level 60 and defeat Ragnaros and Onyxia. It personally took me just shy of one month to do that, and over 10 days of my life. But it's without surprise that for some, the journey was way shorter than that. Like, a couple days short. Everyone was anticipating who would do the incredible feat of reaching level 60 world first. Would it be someone from Method? I hear they're having a race to world first stream. Will it be someone from Apes or Progress? Those guys played on private servers. It has to be them. Well, no, the world first level 60 was just a random guy from Malta playing from his parents' house. Joker. This was one of the most watched Classic WoW streams of all time. Joker, this mage that no one heard about before that, was level 59 and just a couple bars away from dinging level 60. Everyone started tuning into his stream, and this player from Malta, helped by his friends who layered him every step of the way, reached level 60 by grinding on mobs for the vast majority of his playthrough. No one expected that, but there he was. He did it, and this was one of the most hype moments of Classic WoW. But then, players turned their attention to the raids. Who would be the first person to clear Molten Core and defeat Ragnaros and Onyxia? Without much surprise to the people who were accustomed to the private server scene at the time, it was the guild apes from Gehenna's EU. These guys all played together on private servers before, and their goal was to do world first Ragnaros and Onyxia. But the most surprising part of it is the speed at which they did that. As a reference, in original vanilla, Ragnaros was only killed 5 months after release. How much did it take in Classic WoW? 5 days. 5 days is all it took for apes to kill Ragnaros. And then just a few hours after that, they also dealt with Onyxia. People quickly realized after that that Classic WoW was never going to be a challenge the way they imagined it to be. Blizzard offered the raids and the bosses and the whole game for the matter the exact same way it was all the way back in 2004. But the thing is, the game didn't change. The players did. You cannot undo 14 years of playing MMOs and be becoming better at video games in general. And for that reason, Classic WoW was never going to be as hard as it was in 2004 for everyone. But that's fine, because there's more challenges to come, all harder than the previous ones. Blackwing Lair was released on February 12, 2020, at the time where Covid is becoming a serious threat worldwide. The world isn't yet on mandatory quarantine, but many people around the world still decide to stay at their homes. And Black Blackwing Lair couldn't come in a better time for people. With not much surprise, BWL was cleared the same day it was released. 42 minutes after release, actually. But for the rest of the players, BWL is still very easy, but it starts to just be a tiny bit more challenging for most players. You couldn't just clear it with both eyes closed anymore like you did with Molten Core. You actually had to just barely open one eye at least. Then, after Blackwing Lair, the next big event was Zul'Gurub. This raid itself was extremely easy, and it was meant to be easy. It was designed as a catch-up mechanic for players who came too late to the game. But on April 16th, when ZG released, a guild called Blade of Kill from Aragal achieved what was thought to be mathematically impossible. They killed Hakkar with his 5 priests buff still active. Nobody ever did that before, even in 2005 and 2006 and many thought this to be simply impossible. But this goes to show again that players and their knowledge of the game advanced quite a lot in the last 14 years. But ZG was just a stepping stone for what's to come, because one event that many players around the world were anticipating, an event that shaped World of Warcraft as a true MMO for the time and that stood in people's memories forever, was the Ankiraj War effort and the ringing of the Scarab Gong in Silithus. And we're about to experience it all over again.
The war effort in Classic WoW was among the best highlights of the game. For the next couple weeks, everyone will be heading to Celethus and helping out their chosen guildmate to receive the infamous Scarab Lord rewards. This meant hours and hours of farming in the bug-infested hives of Celethus every day, and also helping out the war effort by donating resources to NPCs in Ironforge and Ogrimmar. Then, finally, after all the resources were completed and someone finished their Scarab Lord questline, the War of the Shifting Sand started and the gates of Ankirash finally opened. This represented the meaning of MMO in its purest form. Everyone on the server worked to a common goal and everyone wanted to participate to see it reach fruition. And well, although the raid itself was okay, it wasn't anything special, but just the huge endeavor that the war effort was made this patch as one of the most memorable patches of Classic WoW, and for good reason. But there was more in the horizon. Indeed, now it was time for the ultimate challenge, the hardest raid of them all, Nax Ramus. Nax Ramus was the reason why many players still went on and played the game for so long. Everyone wanted to do what they could never have dreamed of 14 years ago, defeating Kel'Thuzad. And well, although KT was quickly dealt with, Nax Ramus represented the first time where raiding was actually challenging in Classic WoW. I know many of you will roll your eyes at me using challenging and raid on the same sentence when it comes to Classic WoW, but believe it or not, most players did have a tough time clearing Nax Ramus. Nax was actually the first time in Classic WoW's history where Blizzard actually tuned the values of the raid to make it more challenging for players, with them putting it on the PTR servers and having players clear the raid before it was even released officially. And well, even though Blizzard did mess it up, by releasing Nax basically at the same time as Shadowlands, this raid still stays in many people's memories as one of the most fun they ever experienced. And it highlights one of the most hype moments of Classic WoW's history. And this marks the end of this video. I hope I made you a bit nostalgic in the last 10 minutes and that this hyped you up a bit more for Classic WoW Fresh. It's official, it's coming, a lot of us aren't gonna do it all over again, but I can speak for myself by saying that I will definitely still try it, very casually and not go as hard as I did a couple years ago. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a like and subscribe to the Classic WoW Curios channel for more content like this. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one very soon. Bye for now.